Aquagenic urticaria is a rare condition in which contact with water triggers the development of itchy, hive-like skin lesions. This reaction develops regardless of the water's temperature and source, as it can occur after contact with tap water, salt water, rain, sweat, or even tears. Even though urticaria is a common skin condition, aquagenic urticaria is exceptionally rare, with fewer than 100 cases documented in medical literature. Unlike typical allergic reactions, aquagenic urticaria isn't due to any component in the water itself. Rather, it's the interaction between water and the person's skin that triggers the immune response. Now, symptoms typically appear within 5 to 15 minutes of water exposure and include small, red, itchy wheels accompanied by a burning or stinging sensation. These lesions most often appear on areas like the neck, chest, arms, or back, and usually fade within an hour. In people with aquagenic urticaria, everyday situations like showering, walking in the rain, sweating during exercise or in hot weather, or even crying may result in symptoms. Notably, drinking water does not trigger symptoms, as the condition is limited to skin contact. While most cases are mild, some people may experience more severe reactions like swelling or difficulty breathing after widespread water exposure. Because contact with water is difficult to avoid in daily life, aquagenic urticaria can lead to significant emotional distress and result in avoidance of social situations where water exposure is expected, like swimming, exercising, or being outdoors. In more severe cases, individuals may even avoid showering or washing their hands, which can further impact quality of life and self-esteem. Diagnosis of aquagenic urticaria relies on a history of repeated urticarial rashes after water exposure, supported by a positive water provocation test. This test involves applying a compress soaked in room temperature water to the arms or trunk for 20 to 30 minutes and looking for any subsequent skin reactions. One of the biggest challenges with aquagenic urticaria is distinguishing it from other forms of urticaria that can appear very similar, like those triggered by heat, cold, pressure, exercise, or even emotional stress. For example, cholinergic urticaria also causes small itchy bumps after sweating, which can easily be confused with aquagenic urticaria. To determine the exact cause, specific provocation tests, like applying ice to the skin for cold urticaria or using exercise to trigger cholinergic urticaria, are often used to help identify the underlying cause. Although there is no known cure for aquagenic urticaria, symptoms can often be managed with daily, non-sedative antihistamines. Alongside medications, simple everyday habits can also make a big difference. For example, applying a thick barrier cream, such as petroleum jelly, or an oil-based moisturizer to the skin before showering, taking shorter or lukewarm showers, patting the skin dry gently afterwards, and wearing breathable clothing to reduce sweating can help prevent flare-ups. All right, as a quick recap, aquagenic urticaria is a rare type of urticaria where contact with water causes small, itchy wheels to appear on the skin. It can be triggered by any kind of water, regardless of temperature or source. The diagnosis is based on clinical history and confirmed with a water provocation test. While there's no cure, symptoms can be managed with antihistamines and preventative measures, like using barrier creams and limiting water exposure. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.